I've got the new Pat McGrath Mothership number no. 5 eyeshadow palette to share with you guys today. This one is called Bronze Seduction. I'm holding up the outside box packaging. I have the other four Pat McGrath Mothership palettes and I threw away the box packaging, but for some reason I think I'm going to have a hard time throwing away this one. <laughs> it's a really pretty outer packaging. Inside the box there is a card with the names on there and then here is the actual palette. It's the same type of packaging as her other Mothership palettes and if you've seen one or you felt one, um, it feels extremely luxurious. <laughs> uh, there's a reason you're paying so much money for the product. I was able to use a coupon code when I purchased this, which I purchased it off of the Pat McGrath website, and I think I got 15% off. I think it was from Trend Moods Instagram. So I did purchase it off of the Pat McGrath website and I think it was the pre-order. So, and I, I didn't pay close enough attention to the time that I ordered to when I finally got it. I wanna say it was like a week and a half, which is a little bit lengthy. I was originally gonna wait till Sephora got it, but then I had that discount code. So I figured why not? The package does have like a magnetic closure to it. And this is how far the palette tips back. And it has a, um, I'm not sure the exact terminology, but it's got like a cut mirror, the edges, very fancy, very, very fancy stuff. Pat McGrath does some very, very fancy stuff. <laughs> and then inside are your 10 eyeshadows. All of her other 10 pan Mothership palettes don't have the names on them. And then when I was looking this one over, I did see that on the sticker that's on the back, right? It's this sticker right here. It does say Mothership V or Mothership 5 on there. So I was happy that there was like something to distinguish it from the other ones without having to open them all up because the other palettes, there's no indication of which one's which unless you open them. So what I actually did with the other ones because I like to have the shade names handy too and nowhere on the packaging are the shade names. So what I'd done with mine was cut the card to fit inside of the mirror there. And I had to write on mine which palette this was because like I said, the, old, the other ones do not have the name anywhere on the packaging. Um, this one does so I won't have to write across it but I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to cut the card down with the shade names and glue it on the mirror. Um, this has a little plastic overlay on that mirror so if I ever not didn't want to have that in there I can just pull this right out and it'll come off but in the interim I, I don't really use uh, palette mirrors anyway so this is how I can uh, keep the shade names handy with the palette. Now when I looked over the other palettes with this one, I did not see any repeat shades in any of the palettes from this one to the other four. I do have this palette on my eyes right now and there will be a demo for that towards the end of the video if you're interested in seeing how I got the look and also how these shadows went on for me. I just used the palette over my favorite eyeshadow primer which is the Tarte Shape Tape and I feel like it works really well but I also feel like if I were to use a little bit of like the Inglot Durline or something like that and mixed in some of these glittery shades, I would get some serious shine action. <laughs> Typically when I use Pat McGrath's palettes I usually incorporate them with some other type of eye product. Um, every once in a while I'll use them standalone but for the most part I like to mix and match with her palettes. Um, I did today bring in a little bit of Burberry's Trench for underneath the brow because the shade that's in here, this light shade right here, has got a shimmer to it. There was no matte brow bone and I had quite a bit of shimmer glitter on the lid and I just didn't want it to be kind of too much. So I did bring that in. There are five different formulas in this palette, I feel. You've got mattes, you've got a shimmer metallic type shade. These two are like hybrids. You've got some glitters and then this shade down here is almost like a baked product, but it's it's way, way intense in terms of pigmentation for it to be baked, but it feels baked. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys some swatches and kind of explain like the different textures of each shade because like I said, there are, and I feel, five different formulas in this palette. So here is the palette up close, and then here are your eyeshadows, and then this is what the back looks like. There's 0.47 ounces of product in this whole palette, which averages to be about 0.047 ounces per shade. Now talking about the finish of these, you have got one shade, which is this one right here, that's like a shimmer borderline metallic. You've got three mattes, which are this mid-tone brown, this deep aubergine shade, and then you got kind of a deep uh, warm brown right here. So you've got three mattes. And then you've got three shades with like a baked glittery texture to them, which are these two right here on top and then this one, all three of which have got uh, some type of form of a dual chrome or a shift to it, depending on kind of how you layer it. And then you've got this shade right here, which it feels, it feels like a baked shadow, but it's extremely pigmented. Um, and then you've got two shades right here. It'd be this guy and this guy that are almost like a hybrid eyeshadow between the glitters and like the shimmer shade that's over here. It's like a cross, those two shades are like a cross between that formula. Um, these two shades do also have glitter in them, but they have more pigmentation 
and powder powderiness to them than these three glitter shades over here where I feel like um, there isn't a ton of filler type product in them. They're just very, very shiny, um, glittery type eyeshadows. Uh, this shade down here definitely has the most uh, glitter in it, or at least the largest uh, glitter particles. I should show you the card too. I'll, sh I'll hold up the card here in a minute. These ones here, yeah, they definitely have that glitter plus like pigmentation to them. Yeah, you can really feel kind of the grittiness from the glitter in there, but it also has got that shimmer like shadow to it as well. Then these two shades. When I work with these like sh more sheerish like glittery shades like this, you can really play them different ways depending on how you use them and what you put them over. Oh, focus camera. All these shades. Her matte eyeshadows are stunning as well. They just work really, really well. And then these last two shades. This shade is just stunning. I've got it on my lid today. And this is by far the uh, most chunky glitter shade out of the palette. It's got a pretty strong golden undertone. So, there are the swatches. Let me go ahead and take this color right here on my finger and kind of put it over this aubergine shade, which granted if you were to use like a mixing medium, medium or something, can really play them up depending on how you layer them. Here's the card with the shade names on there. I don't know how hard that will be to read. I just checked over these little guys as well and I didn't see any repeat shades from these in the bronze seduction palette either. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I really love Pat McGrath eyeshadows. I think she brings something extremely unique to the makeup industry. Like I said, there's formulas in here that I can't compare to like anything in my collection and I have a pretty big collection. <laughs> and that's definitely not an easy thing to do. So um, I do feel like if you're not a glitter type person, this would probably be a hard pass for you because five out of the 10 eyeshadows have a really strong glitter factor to them. I love glitter, <laughs> so I'm all about it. Her matte eyeshadows are really pigmented and they blend out really easily. Um, and then her shimmer, like pressed kind of shimmer uh, metallic shades are really outstanding as well. But the last one that she did, which is called Decadence, this guy right here, this palette is outstanding. Um, this has got some of the prettiest foiled metallic eyeshadows ever and they're super easy to use but the impact is crazy. I swatched this red from the Decadence palette against the red that's in the Bronze Seduction. So the top shade right here is from Bronze Seduction and then this guy right here is from the Decadence palette. You can see the Decadence one has a bit of an orange undertone to it and then the Decadence one has got more of a powder type formula and then this one here is like a I don't know, these shadows that are like that baked, some of the ones in her other palettes are my favorite shades as well. They're so intense for like a, a baked feeling eyeshadow. It's just stunning. So that one's from the Bronze Seduction and that one is from Decadence. It's kind of like a, my bone kind of made it patchy, but... If I didn't mention already, if you're trying to use the glitter shades dry, you do have to be careful about it or you will get fallout. Or if you try to blend over those glitter shades after you've applied them, you probably will get some fallout. And it's a really fine type of glitter that's it's difficult to brush off the face. So that is something to make note of there. Now, if you're interested in seeing how I got the look that's on my eyes and how these worked out for me, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes from the lash line to up underneath the brow bone and I'm going to put a little bit more on the lid um, to kind of make it just a little bit more uh, sticky. And then I've been really enjoying using this Hakuhodo and Sephora Pro, I think it's the concealer brush to do my primer. It's almost, it's almost like a finger. <laughs> Then using a Smith 256 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Blitz Flame, which is the red in there. And I'm going to pack this on the center and then outwards on the lid. I'm 
then I'm going to bring it just a little above that crease a bit. Then using an Esam W23 brush, I'm going to go into VR Fire Opal, which is this one up there, and I'm going to put that in front of the red and then blend it over the top. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Astra Luna Gold 2 and put that in front. Hopefully it'll stick. I might need to get a little wet because this one has got more large chunky glitters in it than the other one. Oh yeah, I like that. There you go. Then using a Chickahoto GSN 9, I'm going to go into the shade Disobedient, which is the deepest matte brown. I'm going to put that guy through the crease. Then using a Goth number 19 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Entrapment, which is a mid-tone brown. I'm going to blend out this a little bit. I like to start kind of over um, that dark color because this is a little bit deeper for a transition, but, um, and then I kind of like to work it up. I am going to dip into Burberry's Trench for underneath the brow because there's there's a lot of shimmer on the lid um, and there's no matte brow bone in the palette so I'm, I'm going to use Burberry's Trench. <laughs> I'm going to put it where there's some open primer before I further blend up that brown shade. That in, I think it's called Entrapment. Then I'm going to go back in with my 19 brush and that shade Entrapment and slowly uh, blend it upwards into that brow bone color. I really want to see what this rose gold 05 looks like over that red so I'm going to use my finger and pick some of that up and I'm going to tap it kind of right here just to see what it looks like. Oh yeah that's pretty. So there is the shadow done. I do have a little bit of fallout from those uh, glitter shades, which those ones there don't brush off as easy, <laughs> but I'm going to try to get them off. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. To line my lips, I've got the Pat McGrath Labs Lip Liner, and this is in the shade uh, Done Undone. It's a nude shade. This is the only lip liner I have from her. I might buy a few more eventually, but for right now, this is what I have, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm just going to line them and I'm going to bring it in some too. And then to fill them in, I was going to use the Valletta number 406, but I think that's a little bit it's a little bit pinkier than what I was looking for, so instead I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW color. It's a little more nude. And there is the overall finished look using the new Pat McGrath Mothership number no. 5 in Bronze Seduction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.